So what's worse? Or how do I want to say this? What's worse than calling the paparazzi to come to you? Yes, there is something worse than that, folks, if you can believe it. And she did it. Um, but first, I want to I want to go over this picture here real quick before I I show you something. Uh, one of our friends sent me something on Instagram, and I know it's late where I am, but it, it, this is going to be quick. It's just too funny. I just had to I just had to put it up. But this is the first time I ever saw Meghan Markle. I remember. This is the first time I saw her. She was, um, it was on the news. She, I had Fox News on, but it was on Fox News. And there were paparazzis and paparazzi and cameras and everybody following her around. And, um, you know, they were talking about her, you know, uh, this is Prince Harry's new girlfriend, blah, blah, blah. She was an act actress. I will first say that that day they never, there was never a mention of what race she was that day. Not a, not mentioned. And I didn't. I saw a very pretty girl, as mentioned. I think Megan is very pretty. I think she could be prettier if she wasn't the way she was. But that being said, I think she's very pretty. So this is the first time I saw. Her. Um. So they were just like, this is Prince Harry's new girlfriend, you know. But I did, it did kind of stick out. And they said she was an actress. And I think they said that she was, um, you know, did stuff for the UN. They were just kind of running down her resume. But um, I did notice, and because they said she was an actress, I did notice that it seemed kind of staged. Because she was just walking around. Like it wasn't, she wasn't caught seen going into a meeting or going to go do something. She was just, as you'll see, on the streets of New York City. And she was walking around and kind of posing. So I thought it was staged and I'm not knocking her for having it staged. That's what they do. As we know, that's what she likes to do uh, by a thousand. Um so yeah, so that's um but it was staged and and oh, and what I'm saying is no one walks around New York City like that. Nobody. Nobody. If they're just walking around, you know, just caught on the street off guard. It just doesn't happen. And she wasn't going anywhere. She was standing on like they were on her for about I don't know, like five to ten minutes, and she's walking around posing, you know, by a hot dog stand and whatever she was doing. So she obviously called them, or her PR people called them. Great, fine. But, you know, some people can say that's desperate, some people can't, you know, that's what they do. But some people, you know, calling the paparazzi, even though that's, you know, kind of standard practice in that business, is also sort of they called the paparazzi, right? It seems just kind of desperate, and it seems like, you know, you can't find anything more desperate than that. Well, one of our friends found something more desperate than that, if you can believe it. So let me, uh, let me show you here. So we all remember this picture from in December. And, you know, the Sugars might hear this video. Well, they'll think it anyway, but I don't really care. That I'm just being nitpicky to Meghan Markle. I'm not. I'm making a point. So everybody remembers this picture. I think it was like December 21st or so. You know, Megan coming out of some little store doing some Christmas shopping, if you will, you know, looking like she doesn't want to be seen. I mean, it's so over the top that she doesn't want to be seen. It's like, I mean, she wants to be seen. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a little overboard there. You know, especially anybody that wears a mask, they take their mask off. 
when they're outside, that's, you know, it's almost like she's drawing attention to herself. Oh, but, you know, wearing masks is the right thing to do. And she kind of, you know, as a girl, I'm looking, she kind of looks like she threw herself together, you know, just ran out to the grocery store. But her running out to the grocery store is a little bit different than my running out to the grocery store. She is still very well, um, you know, it's obvious somebody went to a lot of trouble to make it look like she didn't go to a lot of trouble. So, but anyway, now this is the same person who wants her privacy. She's chased down. You know, they're hounding me. I'm, you know, Harry, they they want, Harry's saying they want to, you know, Kurt to kill her like the mom. You know, we know the story. Um. So, but then everybody saw, what was it, background or, or something? I can't remember. The paparazzi pictures on, on the, uh on the pictures and everybody said oh she called the paparazzi to be there which that would be your guess but no it's even worse and desperate than calling the paparazzi or telling them where she'll be now how does that work well this is what was sent to me via Instagram that I find hysterical because it just it just shows the hypocrisy of this woman. Not not that we all don't know. But it shows the hypocrisy. Don't look at me. Look at me. Don't look at me. Look at me. I don't want to stand out while I'm standing out. Calling paparazzi is the ultimate hypocrisy. But we're going to take it. She has taken it a step further. So you might, might not be able to see it in the fine print. but Or you can, you know, whatever. But I'll just read it to you. So this is... um. It's from Instagram. It says exclusive. Duchess's, Duchess, uh, Duchess. They don't need the S there, but let's keep moving on. Duchess day out. Masked up Megan goes undercover with oversized Lispex shades for a pre-Christmas shopping trip to her favorite stores in Monte Shaito. Okay, so it looks like, hey, I'm going to be here. Come take my picture. No. So somebody called Live Laugh Love 80 writes, Hey boss, how did you know where she would be? And he wrote, She came to where I already was. So, so obviously... That's an obvious. She didn't call them. Okay. So she didn't call the paparazzi. This woman says, how did you know where she would be? He didn't say, oh, I, I happened to run into her. Because he could have said that. I happened to run into her. Or we just ran into each other. It was so cool. You know, I mean, this person, by the I mean, why, why, what, what? Why wouldn't he just, I mean, he's obviously just telling, I mean, it's very simple. He writes, she came to where I already was. So how I'm looking at it is that maybe she did call them. And he said, maybe, and she said, okay, well, I'll just come to you. Or he said, eh, I'm not really interested. I'm busy with people that really matter. Or I'm busy with uh, Christmas shopping of my own or whatever. And she said, I'll come to you. That's my take on it. So. The only thing that's worse than calling paparazzi to come to where you are or come or tell them where you're going to be is probably calling them, them not come, or, you know, and telling them, I'll come to you, paparazzi. So she's actually, so not only does she, we've moved past calling the paparazzi, she's now, or claiming that they're being chased by the proper paparazzi, when she's actually the one chasing paparazzi. She's chasing paparazzi. So, like everything else, is everything that she says other people do, she's actually doing it. So, sugars, that's my point. 
Everything this bish says and does or accuses everybody of, she does it. So Meghan Markle has now been reduced to chasing paparazzi. And then acting like she's put out, you know, hiding, you know, incognito, undercover, while she's so undercover that people are going to look at her like, hey, it's sunny in Montecito, there's still leaves on the trees because it's so warm, you've got this hat on, a mask, you know, folks, so... Yeah, that's the so that happened in Dece- December seventeenth. That's how desperate she is, chasing paparazzi. Oh, well, I'll come to you. I'll meet. I'll come to you. I'll I'll come to where you are. So, so what is it? April. We're in fourth. So just think of how desperate she's gotten. Because it's been five months now, almost to the day, of how desperate she's gotten since then. So, uh, looking forward to your comments. Let me know if you share the same opinion as I do about all of it and if she is, in fact, chasing the paparazzi. See you later. Good night.